what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to be recreating a makeup look by Manny MUA using his Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dreams palette. I saw this look on his IG stories and I really wanted to recreate it for you guys because it's so beautiful and it seems really, really easy to achieve. So anybody can do it. So I thought, why not? So I have gotten a lot of newer subscribers within the past couple of days. So I just want to let you guys know basically what I do or have been doing recently on Mondays is recreating makeup looks from different makeup artists or makeup in general, just anyone across the internet, whether it be Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, what have you. I've done Huda, I've done Jaclyn Hill, and then today I'm doing Manny's. So if there's anyone you ever want to see a look recreated, you can always comment below, but I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up. That is what I've been doing the past Mondays. I don't know if it's going to be a forever thing or just a series or for a while, but if you guys are excited to see how this look turns out on me, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, so off camera, I did all of my face makeup just because when he started, it seems like he had everything on. He just focused on the eye look, so that's what we're gonna do today. He did use the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream Palette. I actually really enjoy this palette. I don't feel like I reach for it often. It is so pretty though. Like you get a lot of colors. This shimmer right here I use the most and then I use this one. So these two I use the most. I usually dig into this palette when I'm doing a look with other palettes. It's so weird I know, but I like to like mix them in a little bit. But everything that's on my face right now, I will make sure it is down in the description box uh, just because I know some people like to know that information so I will put it down there but I decided to do it all off camera because he did not do any face makeup in this video okay so the first color he goes into is skyline which is this like salmon pink color right here and he places that into his crease I do not have any of the lunar beauty uh, brushes so I'm going to be using different brushes all right so he goes into skyline and he puts it into his crease. So that's what we're gonna do. This is such a pretty pink color. Look at that. Ooh, that looks so good. Oh my god. I'm just kind of placing and lightly blending this color. Um, and I will take a more fluffy brush to blend it out. I like to place my color lately with this brush, which is the Morphe M503. Although you guys may not you may not be seeing much of Morphe on my channel anymore, but that whole chit chat situation will be up on Wednesday for you. So make sure you check it out. So I just put a little on my lid. He did too, but the main focus of the color is going to be in the crease and just a little bit above in case you have hooded eyes like I do. But this color, I love this color. This is a very like, it's not showing on my monitor as like pinky as it is but it's definitely like super super salmon pink all right so now i'm gonna go into a more fluffy brush and i'm just going to blend that color out just a little bit just to kind of diffuse the harshness of the lines yeah i just decided to start doing i don't know why i just started to like do these recreation videos i just when i'm scrolling through and i see all these beautiful makeup looks i'm just like so inspired and I'm just like, I wonder how that will look on my eyes, like in real life, not edited on the gram or on YouTube. So I decided to start doing this whole recreation thing. And for me, like I find, I have found that so far the looks have turned out really good, but I've either had to tweak them for my situation, like my eyes, my shape or whatever, or, or they're not exactly the same because of like either editing or lighting etc so I just like I don't know I have a lot of fun doing these recreation videos you guys gotta let me know down below what do you think of these that I've been doing because I think I might do these for a while it may not be a forever thing but at least for a while and I have a lot of fun doing them so if you guys have anybody you want to recommend me redo a makeup look make sure you comment it below and also tell me where I can find this look because I, I don't want to be searching for six years on the internet so his eye look is more just round so he just did kind of this he didn't blend it outward like I did but I just prefer my shadow to come out a little bit more because I do have hooded eyes so it just gives it more of that color showing if that makes sense. I just prefer that my shadow be pulled in. Right. So he went in it looks like with Strawberry Moon which is right here 
and he just put that on his outer corner into the crease just to give it a little bit of dimension so that is what we are gonna do what we are gonna do all right so we're gonna go into strawberry man just a little because it's a very dark color so i do recommend just going in with a little and building that up you can always build it up you can't take away and we're just going to place it i'm just placing it right there and I'm gonna blend it out with that fluffy brush in just a minute. That is so pretty. It's like a plum color in the pan, but honestly, it's just more of a deeper pink for me, more of a fuchsia when it's on the actual eye. So I wouldn't really say it's a plummy color. It looks like a plum color in the pan, but when you put it on, it is more vibrant than I would say a plum color is. Okay, so now that I have that place, I'm gonna go in with that fluffier brush and diffuse it so i'm going in with that um strawberry moon and putting more into the crease because he seems to really blow it out into the crease and not just slightly so i'm putting it all the way into my crease See, with recreating looks like they're fun to do but you can always always do your own thing like make it your own situation so that way it's different it doesn't have to look exactly like theirs most of the time mine don't all right, so he's doing a half cut crease, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm going to put just a little dollop of my P. Louise base tape right here onto my tray, and I'm going to create the half cut crease like he did. Okay, so basically what he did was he drew a line along his lash line. I just got all that all over my lashes. And then he just looked up. And then wherever that landed like that, you would then just fill in with concealer. Okay, so now that we have that, and you don't have to make it perfect because we're I go back and I always just like fix the edges. So don't worry about that. We're gonna see what color he goes into to place on that concealer. All right, so he went into cloudy, which is this super like baby pink matte color, and he just placed that all over where we just put the concealer. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go in and he just packed it on there. It definitely doesn't look as like light as his does, but because sometimes you gotta give it a little swipey sweep. Ooh, and his concealer was probably a little bit lighter than mine. So we just put it on the concealer over to that line where we stopped the cut crease. Okay. Placed. Ready to go. What's next? Okay, so he took Storm Cloud, which is this super, super dark color in the palette, and he placed it on his outer corner and just built it up. So, and he didn't have, he just said put it on there and you didn't have to be too clean with it because you're going to take a bigger, br bigger brush and blow it out. So just kind of place it there. I wouldn't go too dark too fast just because then... You've had, if it's too much and you don't like it, you can't really take it back. I prefer like that darker corner. So for me, I don't mind, but I would just start off small and just place it. And don't worry about blending right now. You're just kind of placing that color. And you can use a pencil brush. I It's like a pencil brush, but it's a little bit more fluffy. I prefer that just because a pencil brush is kind of stiff and I feel like would put way too much on at one time so now i have that dark color placed and i'm also trying to like blend it with that cloudy color okay so next he went in with two shadows on one he did strawberry moon and sunset just a little bit of each he said and then just carefully and softly blend over that dark color so i'm only going to dip into each one of them one time and just go right over he said right over that color just to blend it out all right and then not only did he do that he so he put it all over and he also blew it out so the way that i had already blown it out in the beginning that he wanted up doing that at the end too so i'm just kind of blending over that color i'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and kind of like get rid of i have a lot i feel like a lot of sharp lines and i um not a fan of that so i love the mixture that he did that actually turned out to be like really really pretty color so i'm going to get an extra brush that does not have any of those products on it and i'm going to blend this out just so it's not as harsh now that we're blended i actually might go in with storm cloud again that really dark color and just place it right up in that like right in the outer right into the crease not blend it out not just put it right here 
because it, it does give me a little bit more depth. So he's going in with Sweet Dream, which is this pink shimmer shadow right here, and he is highlighting his brow bone and also the inner corner. So I'm going to start with the brow bone first, and you just put it on the end. And that does look really nice. And then he actually mixes, he blends them together. So I'm going to place that color real quick. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a brush that has just a little bit of color and blend those two together. So they're not too distinctively sharp. Like, oh, there's a whole gap in your shadow. So that way they look a little bit nicer together. And then I'm going to get a pencil brush because he went into his inner corner with, with the same sweet dream color. All right, so he does go on the inner corner and he just places sweet dream on the inner corner to ha Oh my gosh, that's actually really, really pretty and shimmery. Hmm, I love that. So that is the inner corner. Let's see what he does for the under eye. All right, so he went in with strawberry dream, that shimmer color we put on the inner corner and then storm cloud as well and he just ran it across his lower lash line so i'm just going to get a little bit onto this brush i do like that a lot all right so that is it for the eye look i'm going to hop off camera real quick i'm going to put on my lashes and i will come back for my final thoughts on this look Alright guys, so I did use the Lunar Beauty Nova Lashes. I've been using the Lunar ones and they're my favorite, but these like, I look so good when I throw these. They're so full, but they're not heavy and they're just like, yes, excuse me, excuse me, move. I'm like, oh, but as for this look guys, uh, I really like it. I think it's nice. I do think that at some point he, when he was off camera, he did put more of that storm cloud here and just made it really dark. I know that he went over it with a color, but I think that he also went back in and really added some of that because his inner, like his outer corners really, really pop with storm cloud. So I'm just trying to figure out like what I did there. What I'm thinking is at some point off camera, he went and packed some more in. So if this is not dark enough for you, you can always pack more of that color in. You can adjust it and change it and move it to however you want. This is basically just me kind of giving you guys like a, like a, 2.0 like a second look how does it look on a different person kind of thing i really like doing the recreation videos for more purposes of just like how would this look on a normal person you know what i mean i don't know i don't know i think i just do them for fun to be honest because i don't feel like there's any educational purposes out there for this um other than obviously the makeup tutorial itself but i hope you guys really like this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you do comment down below and just let me know anybody's like makeup look it doesn't matter they don't have to be big influencers they can be anybody just comment them down below and let me know what you guys want to see for Mondays and recreations. Whose look do you want me to recreate? Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do six videos every single week and you do not want to miss out on those and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!